What is up my friends and welcome back to another video. Now I know a lot of you are probably wondering where has Pat been? Where are the regular uploads? And to be honest, the short story is that I, I just kind of needed a break. So in a couple of weeks, it's going to be two years that I've had this channel. And since I started, a lot has changed on YouTube. Um, obviously, there's way more channels doing this than there was when I started, um, which is great. I mean, I think everybody should, you know, use all the platforms that they have available to them to get their, you know, their craft out there to, to other people to see. Um, but the dynamic kind of changed from, you know, just making videos of making good music to like chasing views, you know what I mean? Like uploading videos because something is trending in the media and you want to catch those views. So it really became a race to chase views. And I just needed a break to that, a break from that to kind of work on, you know, myself as an artist and just learning as much as I can about my craft. Um, so that's really what I've been up to. And I actually put a track out, I'll put the link in the description um, a couple weeks ago. So you guys should definitely check that out and run it up. Um, but yeah, I want to get back to kind of regular uploads, but just straight about music like i'm not really worried about getting a bunch of views and trending stuff you know what i mean i just want to make content for you guys um, because i feel really bad that i've left you guys hanging for as long as i have i'm sure you guys can notice this beautiful brand new desk that has cleaned up my setup a lot it's from az studio workstation so i'll link them below but i'm gonna do a separate video on my setup as well as the desk and on top of that my friends at studio link have sent me the brand new scott storage vst um, Scott Storch is like one of my all-time favorites. So we're gonna check that out with this beat and see what they got going on in there. So without further ado, let's jump in to the track. All right, so we're gonna build a melody first. The first sound we got, I found this really nice bell from the Storch VST. Let you guys hear this right here. It's just... Sounds really nice. Um, so we're gonna work on the melody first, gonna build that and then we'll get into the drums after. So let's record this and keep building. So I'm gonna layer that like plucked bass line one more time with this like distorted sub bass just to kind of cover like those lower frequencies. So we're gonna get that in there and then we're gonna keep building on the melody and then we'll get to the drums. So let's get it. Alright, so that is about it for all of the elements that make up the melody that I want to add. Um, I don't want to crowd it too much, I just want to leave it open. And now we're going to get into the drums, so let's get that.
right, so we got those hi-hats down. I really want to tie that like straight trap vibe in with a more live sound. So I opened up like some live hats that I have that are like very velocity sensitive. So depending on how hard you press them, they're like going to change basically how like a live drummer would. Um, so we're going to record those like very subtle underneath just to add that like swing and that groove to it. So we'll get those in and keep finishing up the drums. Let's get it. So next up I found this like live drum sample of just like a drummer grooving and I sampled this one second section that's basically like a pickup into like the downbeat. So it's like sick a You know what I mean? By sick a I know mean, my drummers know what that means. It's this right here. Go check it out. So I'm gonna put that in in like different points um, just to give it more of that live drum sound. So let's get it. So we've got all of the elements for the beat. I've arranged this into a 16 bar loop and I'm not gonna like record vocals on this one, but what I am going to do is play you guys um, the melody that I have in mind for like a hook because that's really how I come up with melodies for hooks. I think of them as like a lead or something um, because you want it to have that like that melody. You want your, your vocals to sound like another instrument over the beat really. Um, so for this, I found this nasty lead in another one of Studio Link's VSTs, the Trophies one um, that they did with Brian Michael Cox. Um, I put a distortion in on an echo, and an echo on it, and it sounds like disgusting. So I'll play you guys my idea for the melody on this. Let me know who you could hear uh, singing this melody. Who should I send this to? Um, but let's get it. That is it for the video, my friends. Let me know in the comments below, who should I send this to? Who do you hear on this track? Should I record it myself? Let me know, give it a thumbs up, dislike if you're one of those, but make sure you subscribe because we've got more content on the way. And thank you guys for watching. Until the next video, peace.